Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Reality Realness with three S's. I am back with my amazing co-host, Phil, to talk about The Amazing Race Canada Season 8. Phil, how are you? Amazing! Oh, amazing! <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about not being able to see my arms, really, but um, I feel good about this. Yeah, and I, I'm, I apologize for the fuzzy snowy this yeah it's snowy it's canada so it has to be a little right. bit That's fuzzy right. we'll figure <laughs> it out we have jelly donut hanging out with us jelly donut says the tasks were so boring but oh my god this episode kept me on my toes i was on my toes i was on my toes yeah. i was like why are you two in last still agreed that's kind of was my whole thing the whole race i was like you're in last like it was very surprising. So what were your overall thoughts of this first premiere episode? Um, me personally, I was like, I was kind of annoyed that I never heard about the casting part of this because like, I would have loved to have submitted a video, but I never saw when they were casting. And so the fact that they just like kind of whipped this season together and I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm mediocre on the cast. What do you think? Um, yeah, I mean, I can't really say that I did actually hear too much about the about uh, the the casting this season. I, I I know it probably went out last year uh, to start it. Or maybe it was, it was the year before, before even. It could have been. Maybe they had people already set, and that's why we we hadn't heard anything. Um, uh, I actually got good energy off of a lot of the teams. Uh, um, it's been a couple seasons of the race where I was like, nah, it's Amazing Race Canada. I'm not overly excited. Maybe this break has been a reason, but I, I'm excited to watch watch this one. And I did feel it was a really good episode. I, I, I actually enjoyed it. I enjoyed the episode too. Jelly Jordan says the episode was boring, but I actually found it interesting. It could be because I've been to all those places. So like I lived in Montreal for eight years. I've been to Mont Tremblant many times. And so it, there's a familiarity that's kind of fun seeing people race in, in places where you've also stepped yeah. foot in. So I didn't find it boring at all this episode. Um, they started off in the Lunch Lunch in Mountains in Tremblant. And Apparently, it's going to be the most competitive group of racers. Do you agree with this so far? Um, well, not so far. I mean, we had episode one, but uh, but uh, definitely, uh, yeah. I, I I feel like there's potential that it could be. Right now, you know, it's episode one, so they're all still playing to the camera, uh, and they're in their who they should be role. Uh, so, so we haven't quite figured out who the real people are quite right now because they still got their their masks on, uh, on on what they think that the show wants them to be. Right. Uh, but but uh, no, I I did like them. I mean, I I I don't I'm not no not jumping too far ahead. But the first team that was revealed, I was like, I know, uh, uh, like I know Ju uh, Julie Black. I oh, know yeah, Julie Black. I'm like, oh, like this is exciting. I like I recognize her and. So so it was like oh this is good and and you know it was nice to see a couple of people uh, Big Brother Canada uh, you know we did know some of these people um, but it wasn't just like they had a teammate that we didn't know so it was like oh we're gonna get to know these these teams it, it was mm -hmm. nice so you're right so Julie Black and her friend Kathy were the first people that we kind of met and I was excited to see her it was just so kind of random to see Julie Black as like you know a contestant on the amazing race but I was happy to see how she was gonna do and I like she did bring a nice level of excitement and uh, a personality she she definitely brought some vibes to the episode yeah yeah great energy uh, we then learn about the bird and the bear. They're from Whistler. Court and Alley, I believe, is their names. Yes. Um, how do you feel about them? I didn't really get too much of an impression from them. Um, but I did. I don't know why, but I, I just find got a... pictures. Hold on. Let me do that. I got a vibe about them that they're, they seem like a team that could go far. Mm -hmm. um, I did get that. I did get that vibe about them. But 
right now this episode i don't feel like we really got to know them too well so we didn't i felt we didn't really get to know anybody too well and then that's why that's i kind true, of took yeah. such weird notes because i was like i don't remember who this is and just kind of like figuring it like re rewinding to be like who which team was that that came first second like yeah. I, I i found it very challenging for me to to keep track of it so we're gonna be kind of fumbling through these cast members today yeah. well and also it made it a little difficult because i noticed this episode there was a couple times where we didn't see people arrive at tasks they mm. were just there and you're yes. like oh i didn't even think that they had arrived yet and you're like oh so so we might be a little bit off on the order of when people arrive to, to to things absolutely and i'm wondering did they already remove one of the t the team that came in last because oh, they're not on this on the wiki anymore i guess because they're not racing anymore Oh, no, they're there. Oh, I just didn't actually see Oh, that. yeah, right, so let's... Really? that's heartless. <laughs> okay, so let's look at them, um, just so we can see this purple. So yeah, we got Julie Black here. Um, we definitely heard her songs. So she was the first people that they kind of brought out to see. Like they, they showed their profile and stuff like that. And I had seen a little bit about them already as well um, preseason. Um, they definitely were showing this couple off a lot. Yeah. This, this friend, these friends. I mean, so, she did have some uh, in Canada. At least she had some hits, like yes. like for, for during some time period. So so yeah, she she is quite well known. Absolutely, I didn't know what her friend did though. What was her? Did she? I mi I missed it, and I actually wrote wrote down ask Chantel what her friend did. <laughs> okay, so. well, we get, okay here director <laughs> business development. She's from Regina. Uh, her strengths are connecting quickly with people, memory friendly, outgoing, fear phobia, smaller tight spaces. Pet peeve about your roommate. What Julie said. What Julie say? Um, ask me after the race. Okay. <laughs> okay. So they have a friendship of over seven years. Um, they feel lucky to have found themselves to be friends later in life, and they share the loss of their mothers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't really explain how they met. Okay. So what the first team that we met though after them was where's Court, Court? And Alley and Alley. Come on. Okay. Here they are. Um, so Jelly Donut says that court is hot. Do we agree or disagree? Yeah, he's all right. Oh, I'm spitting. Okay. They're a cute couple. They were. They are a cute couple. I, yeah. I'm, I'm like. I'm curious if I'm gonna ask my friend Nicole if she knows who they are <laughs> because she lives in. She lives in Whistler, and like Whistler's not that big of a city, so or like town. Yeah. So I wonder if she knows them. Cause she's lived there for like eight, 16, 17, 18 years. Long time. Yes, I know. Wiki's ads do suck. And they do. I don't know how to get rid of them. They're so annoying. They they um, are young. They look, or at least they look young, in my opinion. They, they seem young. I don't know how old they are. Does, that, does it say out. on the wiki? Let's see. If we can find out how old they are. No, it doesn't say yet. They're not famous enough yet to know how old they are right. on here. Um, I'll try to find these things out, of course, because I love knowing everybody's signs eventually. So I'm going to try to find out okay. soon enough. Okay. Um, then next we see the Goofy Brothers, Brendan and Connor. Um, they were quite goofy. Very how, goofy. How did you feel about them just in the beginning, just kind of meeting up with the McDougal? Are they the McDougal Brothers or were they yeah. lying about that? Or... Yeah, no, the McDougals and they're... they're they actually are the... from McDougal? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they're from McDougal, but their joke was that their dad was the mayor. I think. Oh. But, but okay. he wasn't the mayor. But they. But I do believe that they are from McDougal. I think that, that that's true. Um. You know, this is that token Canadian team that we see every season. Sometimes it's guys, sometimes it's girls, uh, that are uh, going to play on that uh, East Coast heartstrings with with the fans. Um, I, I think that they, they do have a very good chance to go for it. They are young though. I would also say that they're the, with, with this one and they had a great first leg. I don't, I wonder how they're going to deal when, when things aren't going their way. So, um, 
Yeah, I mean, I I agree with you. They're they're definitely like that Canadian that guy duo. I'm not friends with anybody like this, but I definitely know people like this. You know, yeah. or like yeah. they I've seen them in high school. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I I just yeah. Do I like your profile pic? Who is it? I can't tell who it is, Jelly. I can't tell either. Who is that? I don't know those bangs. Those bangs are uh, got me. No idea. Mm. Um, next up, we see Darrell and Dennis. Okay, whoops. Um, who we didn't really see very much of this whole episode. No, they seem to be struggling this episode. They seem to be in the back for most of it. So, right. I'm just like, why is some people are just so bad? And I'm like, these are not hard tasks. It worried me. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think they're both very cute. I can't really tell who's the uncle, but I'm assuming the guy on the left is the uncle. The, the yes, the guy with less hair is the uncle. Um, yeah, they're both very handsome. They're from a Halifax. Yes. Um, the guy on the right, I'm assuming it's Dennis, but I don't know 100 percent um if that's Dennis. I uh, he does some surfing stuff, which I thought was cool. That will come in handy. That, that will come in handy, yeah. Definitely could. So I I, I no, like the yeah, looks of them. I, I, I was happy that they didn't get eliminated, um, but I hope that they turn it around because they need to. I hope so too, but I don't know. <laughs> Some of these people are very, very yeah. bad at the race so far. I mean, I know there's a groove to get in, but um, I, I mean, no hustle. I, I want some hustle sometimes. No, that was the thing. No hustle. Got some hustle. So the next people were Jesse and Marika. Oops, hold on. Um, they are brother and sisters. They are Inuit. Oh, we have some birthdays here. So we have there Jesse. Is. He is. Oh, I'm gonna actually got to go back. He is he was an a, Olympian. Olympian, I know. Cross country skiing, I think it was. Yeah, and yeah. she's a dancer i believe an actor and yeah. so she's of pisces and he is a leo and they were brother and sister right Isn't correct that, that was yes yeah they're both very very cute yeah um olympian impressive uh, that was an awkward yeah the awkward task for them true i would have probably <laughs> choose scatting yeah. if that were me but uh <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Um, who do we have next? Um, oh, these, this was a good story. So we have next was Catherine and Craig. So they are both um, professional dancers. Um, I believe maybe even on Broadway. Um, and so she has just been overcoming. She's in remission of some sort from brain cancer, which is phenomenal. Um, yeah. She says herself that she passed her expiration date, which is a pretty good attitude to have. Um, I'm kind of rooting for them just because, you know, that's a lot to go through and to, to overcome it. Like, it's impressive. So how'd you feel about him? Do you Were you annoyed when he was doing the splits or lifting his leg up to his head? Are you frozen? Um, I'm not frozen, but I'm having oh. difficulty hearing you. It's all coming up gibberish but now i can hear you so i don't know what happened there um but uh uh from what i i don't know what you said there but i'm gonna let you know that like i once i heard their story i mean i felt really like good about them like uh the fact that she had been told that she only has a certain number amount of time to live and she she's well well surpassed that that time um and she's been a fighter and uh definitely seems to be in a really good place so that that's wonderful I think that they're they're going to be a, a good feel good team. Definitely, uh, he's uh, he's uh, playing the camera. I think he's playing for all stars already. The way that he's <laughs> working that camera, but but they're they're definitely fun. They're fun. They're definitely fun. I totally agree. So Jelly Donuts says her profile fifth is Brittany, the hypnotherapist. Yay! Oh, <laughs> oh and there's only one Durrell. That's Durrell from the challenge. It's true. Well, the other guy is Durrell, so it was a little bit different, Jelly. <laughs> um, I agree, though. I love their story, and um, I really would love to see them do 
really well because I also love any performers because that's also a life that I understand. So yeah, um, yeah. I'm happy to see them overcome this race and work really well together. Um, okay, so next up is I don't remember who these people well, are yet. So. so so they didn't. That was it, and then they went to the start line, and then we just sort of met people. Was throughout. that where they stopped it? Yeah. No, I thought did. it was one more. No? It was just, I think those six, because then I was like, oh, how many are there? And then I then, then eventually you get to sort of meet them as the race starts. Are you sure there wasn't one more after that? I don't think so. Because I wrote down one more. Maybe they who, showed who them, but have? they showed them, but maybe they didn't give them their their um their package yet. But I had next okay. up, I had Franca and Nella. So they're sisters from Edmonton, Alberta. So I wrote their name down. And then after I wrote all their information, it was calling yeah. themselves Fernella and stuff like that. But we could talk about them now, who cares? Yeah, <laughs> Fernella. They, they, were, they were fun. Their video, I mean, the, I, I don't know. Do you know how popular they are on social media? Are they like known or? No idea. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. I haven't never heard of them, but of course, I, I'm a bit older. So, um, but uh, yeah, no, they they seem like they they had good energy. The they're gonna. I don't know. I don't. I don't see them lasting too long. But I hope that I'm pleasantly surprised. Me too. I definitely like them. I think they're really cute, and um, I want to see them do well in so this I. season. Yeah. Um, let's get rid of this. So they're going to be racing for a Chevrolet truck. That's fun. A trip around the world for two and $250,000. I'm happy about that money. I, I, this is a better prize. Why is yeah. Big Brother's prize so small? And like the Amazing Race is so much bigger. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's not, yeah, I mean. $250,000 is yeah. very useful. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. I mean, it's not the American but it's good. It's good. For Canada good. TV, this is good. Trust us. This so is good. good for Canada TV. So much money. So good. So good. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to have to crack the code. So basically, they're in the little town of Tremblant, which is this little ski town. And they're going to have to go to different marked kind of um, plaques that have information about probably the historical information about the little town. And so each plaque is numbered and it has words on it and they had to kind of decipher which letter it was referring to on their card and then unscramble the city that they were going to be going to or the place that they were going yeah. to be going to this seemed very easy easy very easy i think i mean everybody seemed to understand what they had to do but i was Did a they little though? confused I was their... <laughs> confused by the team but one when they counted it out and they landed on a number they didn't immediately go, oh, I I better include the title. I have to include the title or I don't have to include the title, whatever the rule was, right? But like, yeah, like uh, I was surprised that they, some of them just didn't seem to clue in there and wrote down their number on, on the Maybe paper. they thought it could have been like 292. Yeah. 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 That's the only thing that I can think about why they would do that. But I was just was like there's literally like 13 letters here that you need yeah. to, to yeah. And, and it's not even like it's it's not even challenging it's like you, it's not a weird code that you had to figure out like it's literally count five letters count 13 letters count 84 letters like not hard at all it not should hard. have been i would yeah. think very quick to do and easy well and you're in quebec and no, no, no offense to any, go? any of the other cities, but once you start seeing the the Montreal letters in there, like I mean, it's like okay, Montreal. Yeah, like okay. So, what letters would have come up first? They're gonna try to make it difficult. So it might have been like uh, maybe T L L. Uh, you know what I mean? They might try to make yeah. it seem like something else, something but, else but it seemed easy to me. Yeah, but I'm for, I would recognize Montreal pretty quickly. Yeah. I think. But did you notice that the, the the ones that struggled the most, the ones that had to be told at the end, were the ones that were from Quebec? I was shocked <laughs> that to Sean and his dad, who are Quebecois, like they're from Montreal. I think he was born there. Uh, he was born there. I'm, I'm almost sure. Um, to Sean, 
like couldn't fi- could not figure out like what were they saying i i, I didn't hear what they if they, they were had they were saying this, some other like, it didn't town. Make sense. yeah and i'm like and then they had to go back and hear the the, the boys so why did the brothers tell them what the answers were i think uh, i don't necessarily disagree with it i mean w- w- at this point i mean it's early uh, I think that they probably just were just trying to make some good faith and be like, you know, at least we're we're gonna look good to this other team, and maybe we'll look good to the cameras. Well, I guess maybe at thing. that point they knew that they're gonna be 15 minutes behind them no matter what. Right. So right. Just so what, it didn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah. And like, it would have been worse if they were just running around for like an hour when like it's only supposed to be a 15 minute um, right. difference. Unless they were waiting for everybody to finish before they can go to the next task. That's possible too. Jelly Donut says it was not, um, it was odd not watching them race to the airport at the start. Yeah, it, it was a yeah. little bit interesting. I was like, Tashawn, you're supposed to be in first. Yeah, Tashawn did not impress me at all. No. Big I Brother and Amazing Race, different games, apparently. <laughs> I don't think that he is going to win at all. <laughs> like yeah. I don't. There's no part of me that thinks he's got the chops. Him and his dad, unfortunately, they're entertaining though. Um. So yeah. So Cedric and Tishon and De- Dennis and Darrell couldn't figure it out. I was just so like, what? And they're trying to get to um these buses. There's two buses that are going to be leaving that, and there's going to be some Guru drink, energy drinks there. Have you had Guru before? <laughs> Have I have. I know the owner and creator of Guru. Oh, wow. I think it, I, if it's who I think it is, his name is Daryl. Um, Because I remember like back in the day, he'd always make us like carry it at any restaurant that we worked at. And we're just like, Guru. Um, but I actually like it because it's not like Red Bull. The Red Bull flavor and smell I can't handle because at Buona Notte in Montreal, everybody used to always drink double Grey Goose Red Bulls. And oh, it smelled yeah. like vomit and Grey Goose Red Bull in oh. like the marble of the restaurant. And it just like, I just smelled that smell so much that I can't handle Red Bull. So Guru is kind of like, it has like a different kind of taste to it. It's not, it doesn't taste like Red Bull at all. It tastes, it tastes healthier if that could be, if that's possible. I don't know. It tastes well, better. They, they need to be sponsoring this podcast. Let's get, oh, let's get, them, get them on there. Is this is this how Canadian TV works? The sponsor like every task. Yeah, we don't have other, money. Like that's the a whole other podcast. They really don't know how Canadian TV works. It's very embarrassing a lot of the time. <laughs> we don't. Okay, Jelly Donut. There is ten times more people in the United States. We have thirty million. You guys have three hundred million. So you have a lot more money that you can put towards things. So yes, there is a sponsor for every task because Pretty we need much, somebody yeah. to pay for the show. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> just saying, um, wow. I sounded so American. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. That's and You probably said Z Y and Z. Um, so we then learn about uh, somewhere at this point, we learn about Cassie and Jameek. So let me pull them up so we can just see what they look like. Yes. They kind of remind me. I feel like I know them. Um, funny, funnily enough. Um, I don't, but like they, she looks like somebody that like I've met before. She looks familiar to me. Hmm. I, I don't think I know her, but um, okay. Add to the screen. There we go. I hope I didn't click it out and it was just slow. Um, so yeah, she looks like someone like that's familiar to me. I don't know if she just looks like somebody else. Jelly Donut, is she does she look like from the challenge that dated one of those twins? Um, Dario. Oh. What's her name? Jelly, you know who I'm talking about. Ashley. Ah. I'm going to look up at the Ashley person that I'm talking about, and maybe that's who I think that she looks like. So, yeah, they we get to be introduced to them, and they've been together, I believe, dating for like um, thir- 12 years or 13 years. Which is great. Yeah, I want to see how their relationship goes. And then we also got to meet... 
Well, we didn't actually, but I, I think I wrote this down. I didn't understand why we just didn't get to meet everybody. It didn't make, I don't that know. Didn't make it, sense. I don't know why. I, it it kind of made me go, oh, are these other four teams like an afterthought? Like they're not going to win? Like, like, uh, like, <laughs> but I didn't, even to Sean, though, I was like, oh, you didn't make the first six. I was yeah, like, it's oh. like, oh, <laughs> they don't care about showcasing you. Uh oh. <laughs> um, so yeah, these are, they're, best friends right and they started yeah they yes. started um a fitness retreat which i think beverly, is pretty awesome and beverly and veronica yeah mm -hmm. um, i so like them me too i did as well and i they did well this episode so i'm, I'm happy to root for them um i already showed you did De dennis and Darrell. is there anybody else that i missed um no you got them all um i was gonna say the team that you just showed not the not the girls but the team before that um, Who's this? Uh, I thought oh, that them. they had okay. quite a bit of energy, but I was kind of like, I wonder how other teams are going to react to this team. Um, it was uh, Cassie, Cassie, oh. and oh, oh, those two. Jimmy? Yeah, he might be a little bit cocky, and I'm wondering if that's. Yeah, I feel like there the could be, they could rub people with their energy a little. Like I don't know, there was just something there that I was like, oh, like I could see people being like, okay, calm it down a bit, like. I don't know. Well, I need to show you, though, before we move this slide, what Ashley K looks like. Okay, hold on. Oh, all right. You're going to see. Oh, my God. They, they look. It's her. This, this is who I think she is. Okay. Uh, it will is. be a good picture. Okay. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> it's like your hands. Your oh, hands you and her head. No, I saw oh. her face and your hands. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. No, definitely. Yeah. That, um, or hold on, let me give you another picture just for, just to see her in different lights. But that's who she, I think she reminds me of right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The cheeks. Definitely. Yeah, like they're just, I mean, yeah. they don't yeah. obviously look the same, but like but, yeah. seeing them separately, I was just thinking that. Um, Jelly says she looks like Sophie Caccia or Ash Kelsey. I don't know who those people are. So, mm -mm. side note, Dario is still the finest challenger of all time. <laughs> He's handsome and there's two of them. Okay, <laughs> so what happens next? So they're going to be going off of their two, one of two buses. Um, the walking billboard. Yeah, so find the fun. Marvel billboard. Okay. Th th is that really something to do? Fine. So they have to find this guy that was wearing, walking around wearing a Marvel billboard. Is that something that's big in... Cause that's I've not, never seen that before yeah, in my say, life. That must be a new thing because I don't... That's not very known. Maybe so. it was just a thing for With the, the movie coming out. Yeah, maybe. Because I, I've never seen that before. Um, and I worked in Old Montreal. So they're going to Old Montreal. That was the, what the, where they were supposed to go. Those were the letters that they were supposed to decipher that um, a few teams ha had a bit of a problem figuring out. Um, and then they're going to find out the roadblock. So who is feeling well-rounded? So between you and I, who would be doing that one? Who is feeling well-rounded? Hmm. Probably me. I'll give it to you. Yeah, you you seem to be able to do more stuff. So I am I am you. pretty well rounded, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. So it would probably be me doing this task, and basically they are going to have to climb to the top of um, a, a Ferris wheel at La Ronde. Have you been to La Ronde before? I have not. I'm not. No. Um, I have. It's it's a it's such a, a budget amusement park, but still yeah. fun. Get, get your express pass and but all the children that are waiting in line with their families and uh, <laughs> these those bratty adults that are just like, I got an express pass. Yes. Excuse me. Excuse me. That, um, yeah. That, uh, what did you think of that? Wait, Jelly's like, couldn't they promote Minions or T Minions 2 or Maverick <laughs> movie? <laughs> I don't know when oh, it was coming out. Yeah. Uh, that robot was boring. It felt like a filler task. I mean... It, Why, like, they've had such great on uh, Amazing Race Canada. Like, Amazing Race Canada is their tasks sometimes are really like you're like normal people can't do that. But, <laughs> but this was just climbing. I don't know. It felt weird for a first roadblock. Like, I thought like it would be at least 
more like well i mean if they're gonna be doing that i'd rather do that with less people so we could see people be a little more scared or something like it just it seemed like it was seeing that task over and over again yeah it was once you saw it it wasn't like well there's nothing to it so there's like maybe if they had them have to then walk on one of the car or one of the ferris wheel or like look at the view and find something oh yeah that's you yeah make him jump off but yeah, I just, yeah, they, they needed to have an extra element other than just like go and grab their clue and then go back down. Yeah. No one stood out as as a Dave and Irina, aka my favorite team. I need those um, yeah. drama teams. Apparently, Dave and Irina, they live in, oh my God, now I forget. They moved They're somewhere. Quebec somewhere, right? They... No, they moved somewhere. Oh. Am I making up Poland? Oh, oh, well, yeah, because. Wasn't she originally from? It might not Poland. have been Poland, but they moved somewhere and they had a child. I actually, uh, and a lot of people talked to me about with her, and I loved that team. I'm I thought that they too. were they were great television. Um, I rewatched that season, and I was like, yeah, you know, they were a lot of fun. Hold on, where did they move good, to? Good TV villains. Yeah, no, I thought that they were they were great. They moved somewhere. Um. It doesn't. It doesn't say. But I just watched a video and it said they moved somewhere and they had a child somewhere else. Okay. I don't remember where it is right now. But Jelly, if you know, let us know because it's your favorite team and all. You know. Um. So after they get their clue, they're going to have to choose their detour. So it's going to be jazz or pizzazz. So what do you think about these two detours? I didn't think they were overly hard. Uh, simple. Simple. Like, I mean. Uh, like, what did they have to just sing? They had to be like, da 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 in yeah. Montreal. Yeah. It was not, my, like, it was really, like, that, that, I wouldn't even, from what we saw, I don't think that that was truly scat performance well, okay it wasn't really it was scat. like and do it, do da da like, like, like it do, 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 yeah. do, an email in montreal yeah. something like that like, i don't yeah. i don't remember now exactly julie did yeah yeah definitely uh, i i mean i think i would have rather have done that task anyways just because i don't know i i mean i both of them would have been fine but i didn't really think that it was overly hard so uh yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> to compare to every other task but they were low-key genius <laughs> <laughs> the, the episode gets a point for me for our creative detour names yes jazz yeah. or pizzazz that was a pretty good yeah. one um but they probably started with the detour name and then they're like what can we do in the city <laughs> and figure that out um <laughs> i thought that it could have been more challenging the scatting for the jazz um I was trying to think if I've ever been on the to the upstairs bar. I probably have because McKay is downtown. And so at one point I lived downtown and I worked downtown for three years. Actually, both well, two years and three years separately, I worked downtown. So I've walked past that street. So the fact that Julie and Kathy got lost getting to McKay in Montreal, like it's it's not far from where they were. Where did they go? Because like the police, the police officer looked like you're far from here. I think because they said they turned left on René Levesque, so Ah. they must have gone east. And so east would have been like because they were down by La Ronde, which is like down at the like water almost. And so they must have gone east for them to have gone north and then to turn left on. Because where they were looking, it didn't seem like they were more uptown. They seemed that they were more, mm. like, far away from the city. You know what I mean? Like, they're kind of getting into the suburbs. So, not suburbs, but, like, east. Montreal East. So, yeah. When they're turning left on René Levesque, I was assuming that they're coming from southeast, is my, right. was my guess. Um, but they weren't that far from it. Like, if they just had went north and then went west a little bit, they would have been it, – it wasn't very far from where they were. No, no. They basically went the wrong way. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, and they were, like, the only ones that got lost, at least what we saw. So, right. So Judge Jonas yeah. says I thought that they got they got get a penalty for following the cop that that rule has been banned from the U.S. edition since like season eleven. That's a fact. I didn't know. Is that something that you knew? Yeah. I didn't know that. 
Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. I, yeah, I didn't know that. That was good. That, I mean, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird when the police officer, like, uh, I, I worry about, like, how people look at that and go, well, it's not really an emergency, so they shouldn't be doing that. Like, you know, some people get, get that way. But, you know, it is fun to watch, like, let that, that the police officers get into it and be like, oh. <laughs> Especially in Montreal, uh, you know. Yeah. Surprising that they did that, but uh, it's probably because they were on TV, so <laughs> je comprends. <laughs> um, so with the pizzazz, it's over at the wiggle room, and I don't know if it's something's new since I lived there, but I've never heard of the living room, wiggle room, and I was trying to, like, mm. figure out, like, where... Yeah. He said it was on saint Lacan, and I was like, mm, how far north is this? Like, I I worked on saint Lacan, like, I lived near saint Lacan. I don't... I walked up and down the street every day. I don't know where the wiggle room is. Never so, heard of it. No. It's, it's so wild to me. Ooh, the cop was a zaddy. Ooh. I didn't notice the cop was a zaddy. Did you? I did not notice that. But he... Well, he was... No, no, he was good looking. He was very... Yeah. Hold on. I'm going to look up where the... What the address is for the wiggle room is. The wiggle room. 3847. It must be something new since I lived there. Yeah. Because, oh, okay. It's like literally right where I used to live. No, it's it's new. There's no way it was there when I was there. Because like, basically where it's saying, do you know Montreal well? Uh, I know some areas, not, not the, not the, but you know, sailor, huh? Yeah. 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 So, you know, like going, you know, going up that street. So it's before, like, it's like a Duluth, like Avenue, Avenue des Pang, Napoleon. Let's go. See, like I lived on, oh my God. Like, okay. This is where my house is. Should I find my old house? Okay. Hold on. The wiggle room, right? The wiggle room. Oh boy. Oh, I can't see that. I know. I'm trying to. Oh, oh, you're going there. (laughs) Should I just get? She's going to the wiggle room, everyone. (laughs) Okay. All right. Maybe if I go here. So I lived like right there. Okay. If you can see where my finger is. Um. And so, like, it would have been like a two minute walk. I know Club Musique that was there. It's just, it's just wild to me. So it must be super new. And oh, it's right by Pharma Pre. I used to work beside Pharma Pre at the Moksha Yoga place. Um. That would be across the street, so it must be new because I don't know that ple- that at all. Uh, yes, Jelly Montreal is fun. It is a blast. It's the nighttime nightlife in Montreal is wonderful. Actually, during the day is great too. But yeah. <laughs> oh, and like the street sales is so fun. Yeah. Grand Prix is pretty fun. Um, yes, we're playing hide and go seek. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but like literally though, this was like a, like a th- four minute walk from my house where where the wiggle room is, and I've never heard of it. But it literally must have been incepted after I lived there. So fine, fine. I need to find out when it opened. Okay, so opened. you're saying that the wiggle room was named after you from your past. In Montreal, basically. Uh, no, uh, no, it could have been though. It should have been. I wouldn't be surprised been. if it was. Um, I definitely knew some burlesque dancers there, and so I was here. But she she retired since, so I was like, oh, but that would have been fun if I knew like one of the burlesque dancers at least. But I did like room. um how well they like they like the employees and the the audience and all that they got into it and like. They really seem to be having fun with the contestants. I do like that when you, we see like them being judged. And I did feel like they were judging quite fairly, uh, which was good. I mean, it was an easy task. But was... they at least I was happy to see them call people out when they didn't do it. So. Right. I was I was worried that they're just going to give it to anyone because the first people that went up was Brendan and Connor. And I think it was probably better for them to do the dancing task than to do the singing task. Because if you're not a good singer at all, it's probably easier to do the dancing task. Because at least yeah. you could be like, oh, take this off and shimmy and whatever. Like you could fumble through it better than if you are tone deaf. So I was assuming that Brendan and Connor were tone deaf. Um, their name is Salty and Sweet. How do you like their their burlesque names? Ooh, ooh, ooh they that, got that, into that it. could make a lot of money. They got into this. <laughs> I was like, okay, you you guys are feeling this challenge for sure. 
Um, I didn't really write down anybody else's uh, experience. Nobody really over. stood out. There wasn't like anything that was like hilarious, except for Tishon and his dad being really bad. Like yeah. Tishon A didn't appear to be a good dancer. He seemed awkward. I was like, what is going on here? And he, they had to do it over again. And at this point, when they're doing it over again, it looked like they were fighting for last place. And yeah. I was like, what is happening? Why are you fighting for last place? The other people fighting for last place was Julie, Black, and Kathy, who went and did the scatting. And they didn't sound bad, no. but they had their their timing of it oh. off. And so they missed like a bar or a phrase of some sort of scatting. And so they look like they're also fighting for last place. And I was like, I didn't want either of those two teams to go home. No. And actually, to be honest, I'm going to be honest. If I just based on this episode and and the race, I would have been more like, I think I'd rather the Julie team because they were at least were doing well at some point during the race to 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 stay. But I mean, what an ouch to put like what a burn to show that they didn't get it, get it right the first time and they and still ended up coming in last. I'm like, ouch, that's awful. <laughs> Julie Black, Julie Black. Jelly Donut would like to, would have liked to Sean to take off a little bit more. Just on right? you're so good on BB. What the F? I, I don't know. It's like one, and I was already praying for a non. I was praying for yeah. a non-elimination. I thought it was. I thought I it really was did. I thought it was. Yeah. I really thought it was a non-elimination. Like I was like, they're not gonna send any of these people home. No. Yeah. No. But there we go. So after the um they're all racing to the pit stop, which is going to be the the Rialto Theater. I've been to the Rialto Theater, so I know where that is. Um, and so first place is Brendan and Connor. So what they had to do, though, they were they were collecting puzzle pieces, which I didn't really see all the puzzle pieces that they're collecting. No. I only saw it at at the at the the burlesque place. It's the only place I saw the puzzle piece being handed out to somebody. But everywhere, yeah, I guess. yeah, never saw it. And like, and then they were like. Oh, did we get all of our pieces? Uh, oh, and then Tashawn and, like, and his dad didn't see where he grabbed the piece and they left it somewhere. They had to go back and backtrack and find the puzzle pieces. I'm like, what is going on here? Yeah. What, what, what happened? Like, did the staff all leave like as soon as it was over? <laughs> like, the way it looked, it looked like everybody who was like organizing, running that test, they all just left. Yeah. They, they, they were done. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> wow um so no surprise just from okay so yeah brendan has a winner they are going to get to go to the hollywood premiere of thor um and walk the red carpet they'll get each get twenty five hundred dollars from marshall's that's great but like really that's great that's it's good, useful yeah. it's useful and three express passes that need to be used by the fourth leg so that's fun they're really wanting them to use the express pass. Can they have season. used it this episode to save somebody from going home this time? That would be the best time for them to use it because, like, in the beginning of the race, it's good to – having more people is fine because yeah. you have a lot more room to fail. Um, I'd probably get rid of those as soon as possible. And did they say – I didn't hear it, uh, but did they say when it has to be used by? Fourth leg. That I like. That's okay. I don't want this like they can hold on to it until like five teams or whatever because then it's like okay that's ridiculous. But no, exactly. No, that's good. Um, they were a mess. I was like, to Sean, what is happening? I was like, I was, I was shocked. I was shocked, shocked that they didn't pass it on the first try when we see like the brothers pass it on their first try. Like shocked that Julie Black didn't pass it on her first try. Like I was just like, yeah. this is not right. This is not the universe that I want to be living in right now. <laughs> Have we ever spotted the race filming since they go to Toronto like three times a season? <laughs> I've, never <laughs> seen it. I've never seen it. No, um, I worked, uh, so ni the very first Amazing Race, the starting line in Niagara Falls, I could see it from my office window at, at the time where, where I was working down there. I was working for the Niagara Parks, and I could see see, see the, the start line and all the setup for that. But I but that was that was about it. So. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah. That's kind of cool. In Is LA where all Canadians dream of going? I would have been like, pass. Well, I mean, the premiere is fun. 
any no the spot. answer is no <laughs> um my dad used to live in california uh, <laughs> he, it's, i've been many times it's fine I, i've been to la and i enjoyed it a lot but uh i don't know i don't really like fine. people from la no offense if they're from la like mm. like as a collective i'm not i'm not sure i don't like the vibe of la i'm more of a new york girl than an la girl I definitely yeah. would have rather seen a different premiere. That was that wouldn't be a premiere that I would be like, I, I wanna go see that. But. I do think though, so I'm gonna put it out there. I need to get a boyfriend so that I can watch all the Marvel and DC universe movies because I don't I've never seen any of them. I don't you think you don't have to have a boyfriend to do that. You can do but it. But like I don't like I don't want to waste my like I would want to watch it with somebody because I don't really want to watch it. Because I don't want to watch it. <laughs> right? <laughs> But I feel like I have to, right? It's just kind of like people are just like DC versus. I'm like, I don't know what that means. I don't know who's with whom. I don't care. I don't like the, any of the Chris's. I'm not interested in them. I don't like, I just, I, I just need to understand the hype a little bit. And so yeah. I would like to have a boyfriend to watch all of them with me because I have a whole list of all of them and the order that I'm supposed to watch them in. And there's a lot of movies and it's just like not necessarily fun by yourself. So that's why. I need a Tim and Marie to do a comeback and hold the Express Pass hostage and hold it over <laughs> Team's head. I don't remember who that is. Oh, uh, so that, oh my gosh. What season was that? Uh, 23, maybe? Something like that. Um, and they got them, and, uh, they won the first like, and then they just kept bringing it up to tease. They're like, well, we might not give you the Express Pass. And they just kept going on. I don't remember on. them, but no. that's hilarious. <laughs> i think it was 23 i'm not sure what the like number yeah um i'll i'll it's like this the scenario sounds really but i don't remember what they look like fessy and josh are single we know that what do you mean what's what are you what are you gossiping about joe jelly what do you what do you mean here <laughs> okay so that's pretty much it for the first episode obviously we're going to get more in depth as we get to know these people these a little people. bit better um and we kind of get into like that rhythm of recapping the race because it's 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 just it's a different beast to take notes about. I have to it say, is, it is, it's yeah. a little more challenging. So, did you have anything for us to participate in today? Yeah. So this season, uh, I know we used to do the surveys and stuff like that, and, and that was always fun. And thank you everyone who participated. But I thought this season, uh, I'd like to offer you a challenge each 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 uh, uh, each episode. So I've made a challenge for you, and this one's going to be easy for you. Oh God. Okay, but they may progressively get harder uh, throughout it. But can I, thought, I get help from Jelly Donut. <laughs> you can get help from Jelly Donut as long as this for this one, no looking things up. Okay. Although Jelly oh, Donut, go you ahead. Know you know that I don't know history stuff, though. No, 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 no. This is okay. not Amazing Race history. Okay. The, this is in honor of Amazing Race Canada. I'm going to say a word in French. Okay. And you tell me what it is. And okay. all of the, there's 10 of them and they're all Canadian okay. things that are known about Canada or okay. things associated. Okay. This is, this is, yeah? I mean, I hope this is fine. Maybe I won't get your accent, okay. but this should be okay. I, okay. I think. So, okay. So the first one, very easy. What does the word lax mean? Lax. Lax. L-A-C-S. LA. Oh, lakes. Sorry. <laughs> lakes. Because right. we have the most lakes in the world. So there oh, you go. Okay. Wow. All right. Uh, hockey sur glass. What's the first word? Hockey sur glass. Oh, uh, like ice hockey. Okay. Ice hockey. Yeah. Okay. Canoe. Oh, canoe. Canoe. Good. Okay. Uh, uh, Ciro d'Arable maple syrup <laughs> yes good job okay Alan. Like the, the, the key here is deciphering his accent everybody That's because right, right. Like, i'm very i'm he very does not have a good accent at all sorry i should change my name to philippe i'm so good at this okay <laughs> alan alan spell, spell it uh e-l-a-n e-l-a-n is there an accent aigu? Oh, moose. I actually didn't know the word. <laughs> I didn't know that word. Okay. Jean Jambre. Jean, Jean Jambre. Jean Bre. Spell it. <laughs> oh, this will sort of give it away. G-I-N-G-E-M-B-R-E. Oh, a ginger. 
ginger ale. Yeah. Oh, Jean Bleu is ginger. Did you say ale as well? Yeah. Ale, oh, yeah. okay. Sorry. Uh, Swans de santé. Uh, santé means health. Um, swan. <laughs> oh, swans de santé. What, what's you... Canada known for? Health. Care. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh swine. Okay, S O I N S. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh Castor. Jelly Jones, it's like I know hello, goodbye, and baguette. <laughs> baguette. <laughs> Bonjour. Au revoir. Baguette. <laughs> okay, I'll go. Don't okay. know. Uh Castor. Castor? Cast oh de -O, something outside? Like D E H O R S? Uh, C A S T O R. Oh, Gaston. Um. Oh, Beaver. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know Beaver. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Chemin de fer clandin 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 I'm sorry. De fer clandin steam. Repeat it again. <laughs> Chemin. Oh, Chemin. Okay, so it's, it's like a, a, a like an avenue or a street. Okay, de fer clandestine. Clandestine. Secret street? Like I don't know. Oh, close. Underground Secret railroad. Oh, Underground oh, railroad. okay. <laughs> All right, and tart au beurre. Oh boy. Butter tart, tart. Butter tarts. Yeah. They're Canadian. They are. They are. They are. Um. You know what? <laughs> I think you do Okay, I want well to watch TV 24 too. We got to go. We do got to go. Gotta... We are going as well. We are ending on a, a great note there. No, that was fun. That was great. I think it worked the best because you don't speak French. <laughs> 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 that made it perfect. So make sure you follow both of us. I have uh, Phil's, um, Adam and Phil's good, good Time Games in the link below. So you can go and follow them on Facebook. Make sure you follow us over here at Reality or Realness with three S's. Uh, like this video. And who do you who's think? Gonna win? Who's going to win? Okay, who's going to win? Who do you think that they're going to give their three express passes to? Ooh. Give us your thoughts. I know it's we don't really know anything yet, but what are your thoughts early on? And we're going to go now, start watching Big Brother 24. We'll be back next week after the episode. We'll go live and talk about this amazing race. Oh so gosh. love you guys. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. -bye. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>